Hello everyone, welcome again to my bathroom. Today we're doing another day night vlog. usually and Fridays are also the days that I post videos however I did not film a video to post this week so I need to film one and then edit it and then get it up hopefully by five I don't know it probably won't be by five but at least I'll get it up today but in order to film I need to put my makeup on and so I'm gonna do the day the get ready with me portion of the day night vlog right now because I need to put makeup on to film so let's do this for today's get ready with me portion of the vlog we are going to be talking about writing. A friend of mine commented on a video that I put up and she recommended that I talk about my writing. I can't remember who exactly did it but I will like put their name on the screen so they get credit. She would just wanted me to talk about like how I write and like my writing style I guess. I do a lot of writing for school. Typically I don't do much writing on my own time but I do a lot for school. And the reason that I don't write on my own a whole lot is because I'm required to do so much writing for school that I get sick of writing and that I don't want to do it like on my own time. Same thing with reading, like if it's not an audiobook in the school year, I don't really read anything that's really not an audiobook because I just do so much reading for class that like when I have a break, I'm like, I don't want to do more reading, you know? But lately I have been doing a lot of really fun writing for classes. This semester I'm in a poetry class and so I've been writing a lot of poems and I've never written poetry in my life before and I've never really analyzed poetry. I have read it, but like not critically. I kind of just read it for fun. Um, and I am loving this class. So I've written quite a, I think I've written three poems for my poetry class so far this semester. And like, they're not good by any means because like I said, I've never written poetry before, but I think that they're getting better and I'm also enjoying it for the most part. I've had to do this thing where I um, have to like get in the mindset to write poetry because like for me, poetry is really emotional. And so I have to be in that like right mindset in order to write it. Um, so sometimes I just get in that feeling and then I take advantage of it when it happens and I write what I need to for class during, while it's happening. But then sometimes I'm like running out of time and I need to write a poem. Like what's happening to me right now because I have to write a poem by tomorrow and I haven't written it yet. So I'll probably have to like try to force myself into the mindset a bit. But basically, usually I do this at night, like after midnight typically. But like that feeling you get when you're just like questioning everything, you know, you're, it's like a very existential like emotion. And so like that for me is the most inspiring and is when I like and feel like I can produce a poem that might be worth reading. <laughs> like when I'm not in the feel in that mood, then uh, I try to force like get myself into that mood by listening to music that makes me particularly emotional. And um, I have an inspiration wall in my room that um, I look at to kind of like help trigger like the creative juices. I just like sit there and like listen to music, look at the wall, trying to make myself emotional, which probably isn't a great thing because I feel like it's not very good for my um, emotional state considering I feel like I feel enough emotions as it is. I don't really need to force myself into that, but um, that's how college is, I guess. <laughs> I'm doing a lot of writing in poetry and some other writing, some less emotional writing for um, my creative nonfiction class. And then I have written a couple of academic essays for another English class that I'm taking. So like, I am doing a lot of writing, just not fun writing. <laughs> Recently I wrote um, a collage poem for poetry uh, that I really liked. Uh, it was about eating disorders. If you guys have been around here for a while, you know that I kind of have this like weird obsession with eating disorders. I think they're really interesting. Not that I'm trying to offend anybody who does have one. I just think that they're interesting to learn about. You know how like some people like serial killers? That's how I am with like eating disorders. I wrote a poem about eating disorders and then for my creative nonfiction class we were writing hermit crab essays which is like an essay that takes the form of something that doesn't look like an essay. So like for an example some of the ones we read in class were an essay about being homeless that was in the form of the label on a body wash um, bottle. Another one that we read took the form of 
a quiz and it was like true or false and it was like analyzing racial discrimination and that one was really good and so when we we had to write one just for writing prompt it was only graded on like if you did it or not basically and so i wrote one about eating disorders but i wrote it in the form of a nutrition label like nutrition facts like the things that you find on the back of food packages and i thought that was really smart <laughs> and so i'm like really proud of that it's one of like one of my favorite things that I've written. Like, I just think that that was really creative. So all in all, I have been doing a lot of writing. Okay, we're gonna call that good for the get ready with me portion because I don't wanna do anything else with my hair. <laughs> and I'm lazy. And also I really wanna film because I feel like I'm running out of time. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, so it's almost six o'clock. I just got my video for today uploaded. Of course, it was an hour late. Usually I upload at five, but it's better than not uploading at all. And now I'm getting ready to Go pick up Will, and then we're gonna go to a pumpkin patch. I'm so excited. I've never been to a pumpkin patch before. It sounds super fun. I will update you guys later when I get Will. So I'm vlogging like this because Ebony said this is how I vlog. That is how you vlog. Oh, we're at the pumpkin patch. And there's a lot of people. It is so busy. So I will be wearing a mask as soon as I get my thing back on. We made it, and I'm kind of nervous because I've never been to one of these before, and I don't really know what to expect. Last time I was at the at a pumpkin patch was like freshman or sophomore year of high school. It was a while ago. Yeah. There's literally like so many people here though. Look at how busy it is. There are so many people. And this place is huge. I literally have no idea what's even here. It's massive. But I hope they have apple cider because that sounds really good right now. <laughs> Stand by the guy. Say yeehaw. Yeehaw. Say ha yee. Yahee. What? Not yahee. Heat. Yeet! Third travel, it's Cowboy John here, it's a good friend of mine. Yeah? We grew up in the old Wild Wild West College of Jimmy Dean. What? Cooking <laughs> breakfast sausage every day. It was delish. What are you talking about? I have no idea. <laughs> I was trying to say John Wayne, but it came out as Jimmy Dean instead. Jimmy Dean. We made it in. <laughs> we did make it in. There's so much stuff here, I don't know what to do. Where are we going, Will? We're gonna walk through the Enchanted Forest. Ooh. Imagination. Imagination. Ooh, look this at this boy. Story. Look at that dead mermaid that they chained up in there. Ooh. Are you scared? I'm thoroughly spooked. <laughs> Let me know if you die. I died. Oh no. <laughs> Guess I gotta investigate. These are kind of rickety. Oh, there's a giant tree just in the doorway. Ooh, look at that view. Look at that view. <laughs> the view's over there. No, you're right there. What? No. Here, you vlogged. You are wrong. I am not. Yes. I'm never wrong. You're always. I love you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you ready? You ready to see some magic? Do it. Where'd these flowers come from? <laughs> you look so disappointed. I don't know where they came from. I know, I'm just, I'm- Magic. I'm silent, I don't know what to say. I'm magic, I, I made these flowers appear out of thin air. <laughs> I'm magic. I don't believe you. You should. Okay. You're magic. <laughs> Gosh, you hear the scary noises we gotta go inside that scary house that it looks like Hansel and Gretel were cooked in. I don't know if you can go in. It's probably just a display, but yeah. Ekum bookum. I'm actually terrified. I can tell it. Look at that spider. Touch that spider. No, I'm not gonna touch the spider. Touch the spider. I'm not gonna touch the spider. It's a fake plastic spider. I'm not gonna touch it. <laughs> I like that there's no people over here and I can take my mask off. <laughs> I mean, nobody wears a mask over there. I know, but I'm not them. <laughs> I'm gonna sit on this log. Do I look beautiful? You look great. Thank you. And now I'm going to stand on it. <laughs> You're so tall. I know. I'm finally taller than you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Hi hi. Where are you going? Nowhere. <laughs> There's nowhere else to go. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Look at all these ducks. 
Look at all these chickens. Those are not chickens. No, you don't really. You understand because you're not cool. What? Also, that sign says privates. No, it doesn't. It says privies. <laughs> I thought it said privates. What is privies? I don't know. Yep, let's go this way. Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna enter. Fine. We're going in. We're gonna enter in the exit. And then... This is not the exit. The exit's over there. Are you sure? I don't... Yes, there's a lot of people exiting there. Make your own scare. My camera can't see anything. <laughs> <laughs> That was actually kind of creepy. That was kind of freaky. Oh my gosh, this is really small. Oh, yeah, this this is not good if you have claustrophobia. Oh, look at that. Which I'm kind of getting right now, and I usually don't get that. Oh, uh, yeah, this is a really small tunnel. This is a really rickety uh, thingy. Were you scared? Eh, I was a little, like... If something scares me in this tight space, I will freak out. <laughs> Do you think that guy's getting his severance pay? No, I don't think so. I don't think she is either. I don't think she works here though. It looks like she just lived here. <laughs> Jeez. Look at that food. Doesn't that look yummy? That's a dentist. Oh, it looks like food. Right, this is the zombie lab. All right, they were talking about how like you get chased and it's really thin. Chased? I. Well, they said you run through it and it's really thin. This is like a freaking maze. Enjoy your visit. Thank you for social distancing. <laughs> because of the zombie apocalypse. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely for the zombie apocalypse. I don't think this is legal. <laughs> Don't follow it. This is super sus. I don't trust him. <laughs> Let's go, let's go, let's go. Wait, no, I'm scared. <laughs> okay. Okay, well, I know how they cut themselves. They were running because they're little kids and they were impatient. Yeah, well, because, like, the, they were just really sharp turns. Yeah, they, they were. <laughs> that would have been really good, though, if they, if they did have somebody chase you. Now I'm super on edge, though. I know. <laughs> and it's getting darker. What's in there? Um, Uh-huh. Oh man, I wanted my saloon hookers. It's almost yeah. getting too dark for my phone, so I'm sorry guys that it's getting dark. What did you get, Will? I just got some rapier. In a fancy cup. Yeah, in a fancy little souvenir cup, the garbled owl. You can't I, see it, because yeah. it's too dark, but. I, I walked up to that and I'm like, that's Harry Potter as heck. Yeah. And he's he's talking about it. I don't know if it's supposed to be Harry Potter themed, but the dude just like kept talking about Harry Potter. No, I'm so. sure it is. And he said there was a Harry Potter like convention Jesus. thing. So yeah. That sounds super cool that we're definitely going to next summer. We got food. Yeah. And here's the cup, because you couldn't really see it when we were outside. It says the garbled, garbled owl. And then I got cold apple cider. And I got a really delicious pulled pork sandwich. It's good? It's really good. It's good. It's mm. quality. <laughs> it ripped it out. <laughs> I want to try a sip of this. Okay. You, you're, you're not even kidding. That actually tastes like <laughs> applesauce. Wow. What are we doing? We're on the hay, the, the hay, the hay thing ride, the ride. Hay rack ride. The hay rack, yeah. <laughs> Almost said hay stack. You can't see me, but I'm smiling. <laughs> That's some good lighting. <laughs> We're going on a ride. Yeah. Yeah, and also they said that uh, no uh, adult drinks were allowed, and the lady's like, what is that? And Will's like, it's just root beer. It's, root, it's not beer, it's root beer. It's root beer. <laughs> it's not alcoholic. There's a big difference. <laughs> Here we go. So I'm curious, they said that there are monsters out here. Yeah. And the louder we scream, the better they react. So oh, yeah. we might get to see some scary monsters. Yay. And I'll throw my drink on Ebony by accident. What? No, please don't. I said accident, uh. on purpose. What's going on? Are we getting shot at? I hope so. <laughs> what do you mean you hope so? She hit the thing right next to me. <laughs>
We picked the perfect time of night to come. It's not too dark, it's scary when they but it's dark enough that they can send out all the spooks and the creeps. Well, it's dark enough that my camera can't see much. That too. <laughs> <laughs> the Enchanted Forest! forest. Yay! Here we go. It all comes back around. <laughs> I saw him sitting there like, when's he gonna come? I know, of course, he went right next to me. <laughs> oh no, we're going into hayride only territory. I'm scared. Oh gosh. <laughs> Is that? Oh my God, it's moving. Yeah. Bro, it's freaking, what's like the German thing? It's like oh, Santa Claus, yeah. but evil Santa Claus. Oh, Isn't it just oh, Klaus? Krampus. Krampus. Krampus, yeah. Oh God. Oh God. <laughs> oh my god, another It's not actually scary, I'm just screaming to egg them on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I scream to make them feel good. Or at least that's what I tell myself. <laughs> it's not actually scary, I'm just doing it because it's natural. Yeah. <laughs> Supernatural. Oh, oh right. toxic woods. There's toxic? gonna be some mutants in here. I hope so. Oh, oh, that's clever. That's good, I like that. It's like a machine gun. Oh my gosh, look, aliens. Alien! How do they fit in that UFO? That doesn't make sense. Uh, I know I see oh! Zombie rising in and out. Oh, this is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, there's oh god. a person. Oh god. He's coming. He's coming. Oh lord. Ah! Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. <laughs> oh. Whoa. Let's go. Everything else is fine. Oh, there's a guy over there. Oh no. Oh, smoke. I love that. Good thing I have a mask on. <laughs> Did you see the other guy? No! Oh, no. Oh, no. I thought that was going to be an actual person. I thought that was going to be a... <laughs> oh, it, it was a real person. Whoa, lights. <laughs> you kids get off my lawn. <laughs> Why do people keep exploding? <laughs> Death row. <laughs> oh. 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 It looks like we're exiting right now, so yeah. What did you think of the hay rack ride? That was pretty spooky. Yeah, it was. I really liked the uh, the toxic woods part. There was just so much to look at. Yeah, I liked the the flames. They did the flames and yeah, the fireworks. Yeah, the, the nuclear. <laughs> You gotta love the atmosphere. Oh, that guy's over there throwing batons. Yeah, there was some like lady like doing fire juggling. Fire juggling? Well, not like fire. She had like some like twirlers with fire on it. She was like dancing. Where? Like right there. Over there? Yeah. Oh, we should check that out. You wanna go watch? Let's go.
That's so awesome. So, how's the pumpkin patch been? Pretty fun, very scenic, very atmospheric. And now to finish off the day, we're getting a funnel cake. Yeah. Look at that. We have funnel cake. <laughs> I almost dropped it everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> it's delicious. It is really good. <laughs> All right, so that's all for the pumpkin patch. Wow, it was so fun. There was a lot. There, there. was there was so much, and I've never been to one, so it was a great first experience. Um, yeah, it was a lot of fun. Yeah. Pretty spooky. Yeah, and very atmospheric. Um, but thank you all for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Sorry that the lighting got kind of bad towards the end. It obviously it got dark, so sorry about that. If you like this video, please make sure you're subscribed down below so you don't miss any future date night vlogs. And if you want to follow me on social media, all my links are in the description box down below as always. And thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye! You can say bye, you know. No. Please. Bye! <laughs>